Hey guys, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I'm here today to help you understand how to write some LEGO EV3 code that's going to allow you to take a LEGO brick and using the brick buttons to control a, another LEGO EV3 brick, in this case your, your robot. And so this is not all-inclusive. This is here to give you some food for thought to get you to think about how you could design your own controller and your own robot. And so what we have here is we're going to start with the controller. So I just have this one called button controller. And what we've got here, just for the sake of simplicity, I have three of the start blocks. And you could have all these hardwired into one, but just for the, the aesthetic look, I made three separate ones. And what we're going to be using is just some very, very simple blocks. What we've done here is we've dragged out a loop block. You can see here that's going to be running the entire time. And then in there we dropped in a weight block as you can see here. And we chose the brick buttons and we're comparing. And in this case I have just used the up button to go forward which is our F command. And I have this triggered to set on the press. So when I press the up button on the brick it's going to send a Bluetooth numeric message of F and it's going to send that to the other robot. And then I've just put a quick little delay of one tenth of a second to allow that to happen before this loops and repeats the process. Now what I've done is I've just done three simple commands so the robot's very simple. This one here is F to go forward. We've basically copied and pasted this same thing again down here, but this time we've changed the button to the bottom button for the on the brick button, and then we've labeled this numeric message can be sent out for B to go backwards. And then I finally just did one um, here, same thing, but this time I have it, if I press in the middle, the middle button, it's going to send out the S message for stop. And so this is very, very simple. The robot can go forward, it can go backward, and it can stop. So let's take a look at the other codes. So when we send out F, B, or S, what do we want our robot to do? And so then in this code here, the receiver, so this is the code that is going to be on the robot that's going to do the moving. Once again, we've got three different commands here, all in loops. And what we've done is we've waited in this wait block. We're waiting for a message, and we're waiting for an update an update of the numeric message. Um, so this could be, should be numbers. We have letters for this sake, but in future videos when we start adding different attachments and sensors and things like that, I like just to stick with the numeric. So when it receives F, it's then going to turn the motors A and D on to 30 power. And that's going to be unlimited. It's going to keep doing that until there's an updated message. So it'll keep going forward unlimited until, in this case, I send a message of B, which would send the motors backwards, or if I hit the middle button, it will turn the motors off. So this will happen unlimited. The, the robot will always be in motion until I hit this middle button. So very simple, not perfect, but what it's designed to do is to get you to think about how we can write code to have our robots communicate. And then your challenge then is to apply it. How do we turn to the right? How do we turn to the left? Well, if we want to go backwards and to the right or backwards and to the left, or we want to spin, or we want to move another motor that maybe has an attachment. So there are some things that we want to think about, um, but this is just the, the starter phase for you to kind of begin to wrap your head around the Bluetooth communication. So let's take a look at what this looks like, and then we'll be on our merry way. All right, so I have my two robots here. This is just my simple basic robot that I've designed for some demo purposes. And then this is my controller, which is going to be included in some future videos with some more advanced coding features. But for now, we're focusing on just the bricks. So we're going to go here. I know it's a little hard to see. We're going to jump over here to um, Bluetooth. So we went to the wrench here. And I'm going to choose Bluetooth. I'm just going to go ahead and get these guys paired up. Go up here to connections. This other robot is just called EV3. So we're connected. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build over here to my controller. Um, so this is called button controller 4. 
right there. So I got this button controller running here. I'm gonna do the same over here, but I'm gonna do the button receiver. So now with this robot, you can see here on the controller that if I push forward, he should hopefully go forward. And he'll just keep going until I hit stop or this middle button, which is what I've programmed. And if I hit the, the down button, he'll go backwards. You know, allowing me to control that aspect. So I can go forward, backwards, and forward. Now if I had some turn options, I could have him turn and navigate, which is the challenge there. So that way you can kind of see how it works. So your challenge here is how do you take this and make it your own? And what you decide to do, I would love to see. Leave a comment, share your pictures, link, reach out to me. I'd love to see pictures of your builds, your controllers, your code, all that good stuff. And in future videos, we're gonna get more advanced in terms of how we can control the arm using color sensors, touch sensors, and a whole lot more. All right guys, stay awesome.